Hey everybody, welcome back. It's time for a really good stage, followed by a really bad stage, followed by a really weird boss. I just remembered the boss fight's actually right after Knuckles' stage. I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. We managed to sneak into the pyramid and find Eggman's secret base. There's gotta be a way to get to outer space from here. We don't have much time. Let's go! <laughs> there must be a way to get to outer space from this pyramid. Oh my god. Alright, so we get the bounce bracelet in here, which I really like that item. Yeah, I get little score bonuses for going through those. Oh, there we go. Well, just really wanted some rings. Love this song. So I know there's a trick near the end of the stage to skip an enormous amount of it, but I am not good enough to pull it off. Yeah, so Omachero Chao explained it there, but the big mechanic of this stage is, uh, there are hourglasses you can flip. Uh, come on, light dash, thank you. Uh, there are hourglasses you can flip, and they open doors that you need to open to get through the stage, so there are multiple times when, you know, you require... Uh, come on, can I jump up there? Thank you. Bounce bracelet, uh, so I can hit B to, in midair to bounce higher which makes a lot of things easier. Anyway, uh, there are multiple times in this stage that we require to actually, like, get to a thing in time. Ah! Almost. Oh yeah, I still need to show off ancient power, don't I? God! Okay, didn't mean to release it there. Basically, uh, as soon as you- Oh god. I totally messed this up, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, put the key in the hole. Okay, so yeah, Light Dash, when you when you let go of the ancient power thing, it just makes you attack everything around you, and uses you as the projectile to do it. So if the last enemy was off a cliff, then uh, maybe that's why you don't want to use that move. I... God, I hate these. Wow, my, uh, my homing attack just ran out there. Okay, so here's what we have to do. Oh god, I hate that thing. It's to try and keep you from running off a cliff. Right, so we go up here, we need to get the key. I'm happy we're getting caught up by all of the, uh... All the ghosts now. Okay, so what we need to do is run back to that door with this. The ghosts are gonna try and stop us, but I think we killed them all. So it's just like a little obstacle course here. Here we go. Okay, that was relatively painless. That could have been worse. Okay, here's another time-based one. And it's much easier if you just do the thing with the spin dash, because again, spin dash is significantly faster. Also, it means we are an actual offensive projectile. There we go. You had to jump the thing there, too. Oh, there's a, another one here we passed. Perfect. Oh god. So I think it's here if you jump off at the right point. You can skip a chunk of the stage that's reasonably large, save yourself like 20, 30 seconds. But I am not nearly good enough to pull that off. I believe there's another skip point up ahead. Right, gotta bounce a few times to get the proper height. I actually don't know how many bounces you have to do to get the optimal height. Now at least we got a life back to make up for the one we lost in uh, that Tails map. Got some score for that, interesting. Oh my god, I just made it. That was close. Okay, this is another one you can jump off of to skip to the end of the stage, I think it is. Which I'm not gonna do, I don't hate myself. Thank you. Yes. Alright, what score did I get? A B? I feel like that was a B or a C. Eh. Ah. Just, just made it. Hey, this goes down to E game. I didn't just make it. I got halfway up the rankings. 11, okay. Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. 
That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door's locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. <laughs> God, it's just so abrupt whenever they end. It's incredible. Okay, I hate this map. At least we're close to one already. Is it the one I'm thinking of that's overhead up here? So you need to be lucky that I grew up with this game. Okay, it's not up here. Well, I'll... <sighs> I was gonna break it open anyway in case uh, a different key were in there, because remember, you're only tracking one at a time. Okay, what color area am I going to? Black and yellow stripes. I don't know what it's leading me to. But I need the uh, punch gloves, and I think I get them through here. I don't remember what they're called, they're in this room. Hammer gloves! Um, increase the power of your punch attack, it also lets me punch through those uh, metal containers. So the big gimmick of this stage is just, you know, hourglasses. It, it sucks. But uh, evidently, that's not the right way to go. I need to go back here. In here, maybe? Oh, okay, that's the correct direction. <sighs> Another terrible song. This one's not even funny terrible, it's just boring. Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, well, I don't think that was the black and yellow stripes one. Unless there are black and yellow stripes in that room and I'm just stupid and didn't notice. Oh god, these camera angles are just awful. Hi. Just gonna destroy you. Thank you. That was close. Now that's not an insta-kill like it would be in old Sonic games, that just hurts you. Uh, maybe if I go to the center, I'll have an idea of, uh, oh, okay. I was thinking if I could go to the center of the area, then maybe I'll have an idea of, uh, where to go. Oh, god, oh my god, the camera! <laughs> okay. So this is the center of the place. Am I gonna have a key start to go off if I just fly around? No. God, so much noise. All right, if we dig into the center here, it'll teleport us somewhere else in the facility. Now, an annoying thing about this is there are certain locations Ghosts protect the goddess. Okay. Not in the blue section. Right, there There are certain areas that you can only get to through going through paintings. And if you're standing at the wrong end of the painting, that doesn't give you any hint. Okay, we don't need to be here. Unless... I think in one of these rooms there are two things you can fly through, or dig through rather, but it's not this one. Because these, um, these little rooms aren't, like, next to each other. In, in the layout of the map, they're actually just kind of floating off in space. Which is very not helpful. Okay, where are we going? Oh, I know where I'm going. Okay, hold on. Uh, not not where I'm going for the key, where I'm going just to progress a little. I gotta go through here to hit this thing. God, this map sucks. Oh, come on, man. You know what? Kill you. I don't want you being an issue. Oh, this camera is an issue. Ooh, okay, just made it. Actually, let's go through here. Okay, yeah, it is in this zone. See, this is what I was thinking of when I was telling you, like, there's a really mean one. Yep, because you 
you don't know where it is ahead of time. You just gotta search the entire place. There's no hint. Well, you know, there was a hint, but how does that hint correlate to that? I don't know. There's no hot and cold hint. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, give me another hint box. I don't care about my score. The area with the four scorpion- where the four scorpions are looking at. Oh, and I can't use another hint now. I don't know where the four scorpions are. Let's uh, do a run around here again. Run around the edge, see if we get a hot cold thing. Nothing. Nothing. Scorpions. There's a green one somewhere, right? Is it down here? Yeah, I don't think we've been in the green zone yet. I, I haven't really been keeping track very well. Not here. Room with four pillars. I don't know what room has four pillars. Uh, God, I hate this map. I'm so lost. Okay, more hints. Dig in the center of the blue room. Okay, at least I know I'm going to blue room then. So I am in the complete wrong direction. The camera makes me want to vomit. Okay, I'm going to blue room. Let's go through the center. The center is the easiest. Oh god. Oh god. Oh wow, they were being lenient there, allowing me through. Okay, blue room. Okay, that's the secret extra blue thing for if you have the ancient uh, melody or whatever the hell it's called. Blue room's up here. So dig in the center of blue room. Where the four scorpions point. Well, scorpions, yeah, they're all pointing here, aren't they? Uh, it'd be weird if it was off center. I swear I did that spot before. God, that was almost an eight minute stage. I hate that map. Oh my God. Tough. Still not an E rank. Okay, I believe I've got a weird boss battle next. <laughs> God, this Who's one. There? What the? A ghost? Okay. So you're not supposed to be able to kill this thing in one round, but you can if you know the trick. I know the trick. I don't think I'm good enough at the trick. Right, so you had to hit it from behind. Oh god. So I actually don't know how to guarantee that he's not gonna just turn around. Is it just- oh right, I gotta punch it, yeah. Uh, I think it might just be waiting until he's doing his fireball thing. But this boss, boss battle can be real long. All right, so you punch him, and you're not supposed to be able to hit him more than once in a round, but I think there is a trick where you can do it. But I don't know how to do that trick. And if you know the trick and you're really good at the trick, you can kill him in one round, which really speeds up the fight. It's not a particularly long boss, but I think you need to punch him four times. 
you see he turns around like that. If you don't catch him while he's doing, I think, the fire breath? And I don't know how, like, I know there's a trick to get him to activate his fire breath early. There we go. I think there's a trick at least, but I don't know how to do it. Come on. So he does stop moving once you get on him, so don't worry about rushing to actually do it. I think if I turn around, maybe I can hit him. No, he see, he starts going my speed. Maybe if you hug the inside wall, you can get a second shot in? I don't know. So I need two more punches on him. So it is a little long for a boss fight just for this game. Okay, hug the inside wall so you go around faster. And that was just to make sure he didn't bite me. You gonna do your fire breath, buddy? I'm just gonna, like, slow myself down until he does his fire breath. Why is there a giant ghost monster in this place? Okay, I think he's doing it. Perfect. So I'll need two more punches on him. Wall again? Okay. Oh, come on. I don't have long to hit him. I'm running out of time. Okay, at least he moves real slow. Oh my god, I almost got a second punch in there. Yeah, the trick is hug the wall. Okay. Come on, just do your fire breath early. Okay, if you're gonna do the biting thing, then he speeds up for that, so you just hug the inside wall and you're good. God, it feels like Knuckles is faster than Sonic. I don't think this guy has ever hit me in all of my years of playing this. Alright, just do your fire breath. Is he- no? Okay. There we go. When you hear him inhaling is when you go for it. God, this is a long boss fight, oh my god. I've done entire maps shorter than this. Uh, okay, that counts. There. You know what? That boss battle would be a lot better if you only need to hit him three times. I feel like it was just too long, you know? Because it wasn't really dangerous. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves. Did you really think eh? get out of here alive? Come and get some, Eggman! Sorry. Just leave it to me. This time, I'll take your life, as well as the Chaos Emerald. I call on you to destroy these pests. Come out, my servant. I actually forgot that this is when you fight this boss. Yeah, I'm cool with uh, fighting him this episode. Egg Golem. I like this boss. So I think there's a trick to killing him real fast with the, uh, with the, uh, what do you call it? The bounce bracelet. I'm pretty sure there's a trick to kill him real fast with it. I just don't know how to do it. I think you can, like, bounce onto his arm. What you're supposed to do, though, is just go up his back. And then you can homing attack these. But you need to get quite a few hits in on them. So that's why this is slow, at least by speedrunning standards. But there is a bounce bracelet trick where you can hit him like straight from the ground here. There we go. Oh, okay. For a second I thought he was about to turn. And then I didn't want to jump on him while he was turning and just fall. So that quicksand down there is not instant kill, by the way. Ah! 
Okay, we're good, we're good. We're hurt though. We need a ring. Yeah, I believe if he bounce bracelet away from his head there, then you can dodge it and get in a homing attack on his head. One more? One more hit. Okay. Come on, do your headbutt. Ah. Ah, come on. It had to be over the pit. All right, whatever. Easy boss fight. A little bit slow, but the whole thing's kind of action-packed and you're actually responding to things. I like this boss fight a lot more than the ghost one. Nice try, Rocky. <sighs> God. Sonic's lines are so lame. Space colony where Eggman is hiding. What the? Is everyone all right? We should be oh, landing no. soon. The hatch doors don't are open. Sweat it, Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo bay are those what master emeralds. What do you mean, don't sweat it? Right? Land the Knock shuttle and off, let Knuckles. me out. We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! It's okay, I want to die too. What's up with that knucklehead anyway? Trying to take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast for sure. Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. This place looks deserted, dusty too. This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of a terrible accident. The first Bernoulli Spherical Space Colony, called ARC. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. But looking at it now... Now it's an abandoned ARC, wouldn't you say? There's not much time left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah! Someone designed that weapon to be impenetrable from outside attacks. Its defense shields are super strong, so we have to find a way to destroy it from Isn't inside. Isn't that a chaos emerald? It looks like it, doesn't it? But in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy field inside the chaos emeralds and blow up. It looks so real, even a machine can't tell the difference. I'll find the power supply and destroy it. Sonic, you find the control room, okay? So the plan is, we'll switch the Chaos Emeralds when the machine is stuck, right? I hate you! You guys always leave me behind and have all the fun! I love how the sound effects just start playing late for the walking. Okay, so if memory serves, this is the last Tails stage. Then after that, we have a Sonic stage, Knuckles last stage, and then the last Sonic stage for the Hero Story. So four episodes, or four levels left, which means two episodes left in Hero Story. Then it only take, I think, four episodes to do Dark Story. One episode for the last story. And then after that, we start with the live streams that'll be uploaded here on YouTube in this playlist for trying to get 180 emblems and doing all the Chow Garden stuff. So thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.